Hi, my name's Claire and this is my channel, Claire's Footsteps. In this video, I'm trying out the night jet sleeper trains run by Austrian Rail Network, OBB. I'm taking the train from Vienna, Austria's capital, to Stuttgart in Germany. I rate my bed on the train and vlog the whole journey and tell you how you can book it yourself. So, let's begin at Vienna Hauptbahnhof. Good evening from a much quieter Vienna Hauptbahnhof than earlier. I'm currently waiting for my night train to Stuttgart, so I'm getting on a sleeper train um, that will take about nine hours to reach Stuttgart in Germany. Um, it is a little bit delayed, so I'm hoping that it will rock up soon because I'm quite keen to get on and get into bed. I just had a look on my ticket and I didn't see before that it says for international journeys please make sure you've printed your ticket out on an A4 piece of paper. I have not done that, I only have an e-ticket so hopefully they will accept that. It, it, what, what was misleading is it does also say beneath it within Austria we accept it in digital form on your laptop or phone and I think I just read that bit and thought oh that's fine so hopefully that will be okay hopefully I won't be kicked off the train for not having a printed ticket I'm sure it'll be all right one way or the other so I'll just explain now while I have a bit of time so the night jet trains are part of the OBB the Austrian trains the sleeper trains restarted again I think last year um, and they restarted and they did a train to Paris which I did originally want to go on but it wasn't running tonight the timings didn't quite work out but they also do this train to Stuttgart so I thought I'll try the sleeper train out to Stuttgart and then tomorrow I'll be taking a train from Stuttgart to Paris. <laughs> in recent years it's not been very common to have sleeper trains in Western Europe but I think with people trying to be a bit more eco-friendly I think it's becoming more and more common. I've taken sleeper trains all over the world, China, Kazakhstan, Georgia, I've done other, some others in Europe, I did um, Romania to Hungary so it'll be interesting to see how this one compares. So I couldn't really record much when I got into the room because there were people already sleeping there but we got given a blanket, a sheet, a pillow and even a little chocolate. It was quite difficult to put the sheets on sort of in this cramped space and also as quietly as possible so I put them on as best I could and then I had a little look to like get all of the stuff that I needed for the evening out which yeah it's quite difficult on a moving train in a very small space but did the best I could. There wasn't any space on the floor to store my bags so I did just have to have my big bag at the end of my bed as well. <laughs> Alright, very early on toilet check. It's not as nice as the uh, OBB train I was in earlier. Um, it's yeah, very, very dated. <laughs> I'd probably give it a 3 out of 10 when it comes to train toilets. Um, I've just boarded, I have put my pyjamas on straight away and I'm going to brush my teeth and go to sleep because I'm very tired. But I will show you around in the morning. We get into Stuttgart at 8.30 and I've been getting on at 6. So we'll have plenty of time to chat then. So I can show you around my sleeper bunk a little bit better in the light. Um, so there was a light, like a reading light that I could have used, although I didn't even realise it was there when I boarded in the dark. There's also like this little pocket where I could put stuff, um, which would have been quite useful if I'd had longer on the train. There was also a plug, which is very useful actually. Again, I didn't even see this when I boarded and I ended up just using my power bank but if you do board it and know it's there, then that can save your battery. I was oh, luckily on the bottom bunk right by the window. So it was really nice in the morning because I got to see the scenery and it was good in the night because I do get up to go to the toilet rather a lot. I realized I did not pack my makeup remover wipes, which is pretty much an essential for a night train. So I'm gonna attempt to take last night's makeup off with my face wash and some tapered towels now. Off. Um, and brush my teeth and then I will do a bit more of an overview of the night. So um, I slept pretty well. I always sleep really, really well on trains. Honestly, I think I sleep better on trains than I sleep in uh, in actual beds. Um, so that was good. We are in Aus Augsburg, which um, is near Munich. Um, we're still about an hour on the train to Stuttgart, so still a little way to go. I couldn't film too much actually in my room because obviously it's a six person room 
and there were five other people in there when I got in and most of them were asleep because they'd gotten earlier so I couldn't film that much sort of actually like showing you around but I will do I'll, the train does terminate at Stuttgart so I will get off last and I'll make sure I can do a proper video then right I'm gonna go and get packed up and I'll show you a little bit more of the cabin when I can so along with the not great toilets, there were also two like rooms with just a sink in for if you want to brush your teeth and stuff, which was quite useful, although they were also quite dated. When I got back to my room, people had actually left the train already. So here's a bit of a showcase of what it all looks like. It was three bunk beds on top of each other. So you could end up being right at the top. Um, or you know obviously bottom or middle as well but they were all the same in terms of their facilities and stuff so it just depends on how much you want a bottom of bunk oh you do also get a very light breakfast on these trains by breakfast I mean a coffee and a breakfast bar but it's something so we're about so probably about half an hour away now yeah, probably about half an hour left on the train. Um, tickets were all fine as well. That was something else I forgot to mention. So I boarded with my with my e-ticket on my phone and actually the girl in front of me, she also didn't have a ticket printed out. And she was talking to the train attendant in German and I just about made out what they were saying. My German's not great for speaking myself, but I can understand some bits. Um, and she, he basically said you should have printed it out. And she was like, oh, sorry, I don't have a printer. He was like, oh, fine, you know, I, I'll just scan it and then I need to take a photo of it. And then I was like, uh, mich auch. <laughs> like me too and he was like oh okay <laughs> so no, it was fine about it and in the night i think it was at about four o'clock the police knocked on our door <laughs> which <laughs> you don't really want at four in the morning but it was at the border and they did need to see all of our passports or id cards so obviously i had my passport but people who were traveling sort of within the schengen area had their id cards but it's good to know that even you do need that even if you're in the Schengen area so yeah just showed him my passport but he didn't like even turn the light on or anything like that and um, so it was much more relaxed than a lot of border crossings that I've done on trains before where I've had to like get off the train and go through customs and stuff it wasn't like that oh this is good to know as well you don't have to have a sleeper on this train I paid extra for one it's I think I worked out about 50 euros extra for a sleeper. If you just wanted a seat, the actual this train journey would have only been about 50 euros. So I think I paid about 100. Um, I'll find out the exact amount I paid and I'll put it on the screen because I know that's um, always good to know. But you can do this whole journey in a seat if you want. Obviously, you're going to be in a seat. So it depends on how much you value your sleep, how much you can sleep in a seat and on how much of a budget you're travelling on. I probably would have done that when I was back around when I was younger, but I'm in my 30s now and I have a bad back, so I need, I need my bed. <laughs> Just a quick like second toilet check. Um, I think I was a bit too British and polite last night. This toilet is very bad considering it's an overnight train. There's no soap. This barely works. You have to really pump it to get any water out at all. Um, there's nowhere to put anything. Like there's nowhere, I just have to get changed. There's nowhere to put my clothes while I'm getting changed. There's a cigarette butt on the floor. Yeah. I think it's a one out of ten for this toilet. <laughs> so as we pulled into Stuttgart, everyone else left the cabin. So I managed to get a shot of it uh, without anyone in. So this is what it looks like. And you can see how the top bunk is very high up indeed. So yeah, it depends how much you like heights, whether you want that one or you can reserve the lower bunk, which is what I did. All right, we are arriving into Stuttgart imminently so yeah i think we're just pulling in now never gets easier to put this on especially not in such a small space because everyone got off in stuttgart i managed to have a quick look in some of the other cabins so this is if it has no middle beds and this is what it looks like in the day when it's used as seating rather than all beds so it can change a lot depending on what time of the day you're on the trains all right and i have touched down in stuttgart it is a bit warmer here it was really cloudy on the way in but actually it's 
looks like the sun's coming out now, so that's good. I've right, just got a few hours here before my next train. I'm going to find somewhere a bit quieter to sit down and recount my thoughts on the night. All right, I have found somewhere quieter to sit and recharge, although I am going to go get a coffee soon because I'm quite hungry. I haven't really eaten any breakfast. just had a peach on the train and fancy a coffee, and I need to charge my camera as well but I just thought I'd find somewhere to sit initially just to go over the night train and what I thought of it. So I think it is a really good way to get around Western Europe. And um, this train actually, it left from Budapest, I think, so from Central Europe, and it terminated at Stuttgart, but then you can get that Vienna Paris train that I was talking about, which was the one I originally wanted to get. I've actually ended up only going half the way, but I am, getting a quick train from Stuttgart to Paris later on this afternoon so I think it's only three hours. I do definitely think it's a really good way to get around this part of the continent. If you're good at sleeping on trains you save a night's sleep and you get on you go to sleep and then you get up in the morning. I mean I didn't go straight to sleep because I was filming a few things um, and then this morning I woke up earlier but I think I probably could have got a full eight hours sleep on there apart from the um, the quick wake up on the border which was just to check documents which was fine like I said before like I didn't even need to I just sat up and gave them my passport and then he looked at it and then he continued on so it wasn't like I needed to actually like leave the train or anything like that it's a very convenient way to travel and if you like trains and if you like sleeper trains it's definitely worth trying however <laughs> just a couple of constructive criticisms um so the train was delayed, which is fine. I don't, you know, trains get delayed. So it's not always the rail companies, something in the rail company's control. But I just kept getting emails like throughout the evening just saying it's been delayed another 10 minutes, it's been delayed another 10 minutes. And then finally it ended up coming in at five to midnight, which was, I think that was 40 minutes after it was scheduled. So it wasn't crazy. Um, but it's enough of a delay to, to notice it and then actually getting in we were an hour and a half delayed like I say I'd, I'd factored that in that's why I'm getting a train to Paris this afternoon not this morning as long as you know that there might be delays then that's fine um, the delays do happen when you travel and you know I've, I've been on plenty of trains with delays all, all around the world I think part of me thought you know sort of Austria, Germany, Switzerland, they're very good at timekeeping. I thought maybe they'll be very punctual, but it didn't work out this way this time, but that's fine. The other thing that I did touch on was, it was actually a very dated train. It's interesting, because I'm pretty sure they only restarted this route last year, but these trains definitely didn't come from last year. Um, the bathroom really wasn't great like it was it was dirty that every time I went in and, and granted I didn't start at the starting station but usually on these night trains they do get a quick clean once or twice but it didn't that didn't really seem to happen and like I said there was nowhere to put my clothes when I was getting changed the tap there was no soap luckily I had some hand sanitizer in my bag the tap didn't work so like I could I just about got some water out of it at one point but you have to like really pump it with the foot pedal so yeah not not a good bathroom and actually the the bed was fine like it wasn't uncomfortable you get fresh linen you get like some little extra bits like water and some snacks and stuff which you don't get in, in other trains around the world to be fair but um the whole the cabin was a bit dated as well i've explained i've explained all of it on my voiceover but yeah that did strike me especially when i've been on trains like um like the trains in kazakhstan some of them were super modern and trains in uzbekistan as well were very modern not all of them but some of them were very modern and the train that i did um in january this year which i've got a video on um which went from london to penzance that was very nice as well and I had my own room on that one, which was felt very loose. So yeah, it's uh, it was a bit of a mixed bag. I enjoyed the experience and I'm glad I did it. And I mean, I was in Vienna till late last night and now it's the morning and I'm in Stuttgart. And I mean, I slept fine. Like I, I do sleep well on trains. I sleep better on trains than I do sleep normally, which is quite funny. I'm absolutely surrounded by ducks here. <laughs> to book this train, you need to go on the Nightjet website. 
I am going to put together a full blog post which will have full booking instructions and it will have written out all of my thoughts on the train so do check that out as well if you're thinking of booking and hopefully with the vlog and the blog together that will give you all of the information you need to know if you want to do this train from Vienna to Stuttgart or if you want to do the Vienna to Paris train or to be honest any of the night jet trains I think they're quite similar so it should give you a good idea about what to expect. I'll just say one quick thing before I go I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I didn't print my ticket off you are supposed to print your ticket off and conductor was was nice and said oh don't worry about it I'll just take a photo but you are supposed to print your ticket off if you're traveling on the night jet and you're traveling internationally they sort of they take them from you and then they put them they organize them and then they actually come and tell you like 20 minutes before your stop which is quite helpful obviously as I was getting off the last one it didn't matter too much but um yeah so that is just one thing they are you are supposed to print it off and while the conductor was nice um maybe they're not all like that i don't know so yeah just thought i'd round off with that little tip so i think i'm going to start with another vlog um while i'm here i figured i may as well do another get another vlog in and that's just going to be like my day today which is just um hanging around stuttgart i want to check out stuttgart library and then getting the train to paris and then i'm just going to have an evening in paris so yeah do check that out it will probably be up next week and thank you so much for watching this video uh let me know in the comments if you are taking a night jet train in the future or if you're planning on taking one and if you are i hope this video has helped with your planning thanks so much for watching see you next time bye